What's up guys, Craig here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Um, we're still playing episode 4, I believe. In this episode we will be sneaking to Crawford, I think it is. Trying to steal some gas and some batteries, I think it is. I think it's like a battery in need of the boat, you know, we need, need to like try and escape. But yeah, it's around every corner. And we did make a pretty big decision in the last in the last part of this. We allow Clementine to come with us. Now, now I don't know if that's going to affect anything good or bad. I hope it turns out good. You know, it's quite quite a scary thought. Something might happen, really. But she has proved useful. But I'm still very nervous that something might happen. You know. I miss Carly. <laughs> nah, what? Um, not, not, not like in that way, but you know, she was a pretty nice character. The old school should be directly above us. So we're here. Okay, people, this is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay here. Holly's got her. Um, stay together. We find what we need. Also, Molly's got her. Get the hell out before anyone even out. knows we're there. Got it? Yep, in and out, quickly as possible. And that part about staying close, it goes double for you. <laughs> yep. Up we go. Legos first, of course. Look at my get a good look above with the cover on. Really? <laughs> God, this is dangerous if someone's even just looking. Let's go. No, there's no one around anyway. Yeah, the whole place is looks abandoned pretty much. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I agree. I see one over there. By oh. The door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. I <laughs> just takes his gun out. Uh... What the fuck? Oh god! Yeah, he's not a guard. Someone tells me Crawford is, isn't as safe as people thought it was. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Yeah, Get there's just more than fast. one. I believe shit has already hit the fan. Wow, man. Hope there's not too many walkers inside the school. Oh, God. Yeah, keep Fuck. that door closed. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. So did I. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Calm down, Ben. No, this is good. How is this good? What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. Fair point. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? <laughs> Come on, I think I know which way to head. What else her name again? Bree or something? I got a bad feeling about this. What the hell is this Scooby Doo? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you can hear the walker groans, can't you?
There's probably something in there. But there's definitely a walker in there. Just keep moving. Here. Higher. <laughs> Looks okay. Everybody in. And then a walker jumps out and kills everyone. At the end. No, thank thankfully not. Seems like a regular classroom. I suppose you have to say, with, with you know a whole bunch together, you can't really expect anyone to be taken by surprise. The armory locked. Figures. Damn it! Oh, is that a map? Looks like it. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? I don't know. Here. Just give me a sec. Multiple. I'm low frame rate. Fuel? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Medicine? Where would be the best place to look for medicine? <coughs> right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Oh. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Right, I'm suspicious all of a sudden. Just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. How does she know? Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss And she it. says she knows, but then the reason okay. just makes sense. I'll make the run to the maintenance ship. Which it is she doesn't know. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone Excellent. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. I hope Good Molly's time. on the up and up. What the hell's Clementine gonna do? What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still not confident about not this, though. You know it. So, do, so can we get a chance to look around this room? Oh, oh yes, we can. Excellent. Look at shelf. Whoa, just like warped then. School map. We need to be going to the motor pool, don't we? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. So, well, how does how does Molly know that? Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. All right, nurse's station. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Fire escape. He said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. That would be good. A flag. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nope, things have completely gone to shit. Um. Anything else in this room? Books and dolls. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. <laughs> dolls. Hey, voodoo dolls. Creepy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Anything else? Talk to Ben, maybe. Hey, 
You need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. You're plenty useful. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. Oh, God. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Oh, God. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. You should tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not I agree with Lee. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. He seems pissed still, all of a sudden. Oh. There's a TV, no didn't look like that. No TV. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Pamphlets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. <laughs> ah, those are the things all those are like the sim symbols that are all around the Number of eligible citizens found, number of citizens to Crawford, number of walkers found, initials of person conducting search, days since... Oh, that's a pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting system, I suppose. But yeah, talk to Ben anymore. How are things going with that door? Slowly but surely. <laughs> it doesn't look like much is happening, but I'll, I'll trust you on that, Ben. Uh, paste. Just a bunch of paste. Let's let's eat some paste. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Mm, good points. What's happening in England? What's happening in Carlisle? I wonder. Just just paste. Anything else in this room? As a rogue, talk to Clementine first. She just sit at the desk. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Oh, yeah. So do I. It's not weird at all. So do I. You haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. <laughs> I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I think so. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Mm hmm. Right. Look at the rug. <laughs> hopscotch. Hopscotch. Yay! Just tempted to play, play hopscotch now. But we should probably get a move on. Open the door. Oh Christ. Photo. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Dick. Wow. Definitely was survival of the fist. Did Molly go this way? I thought Molly went this way, but apparently not. Okay, n never mind then. Let's just uh, nice blood splatter on the on the wall there, or on the lockers, I should say. I heard a. So I just heard a door creaking or something. Oh, I see Molly at the end of the room. The alleyway to the. Oh Jesus, Molly! Building. What are you doing? You coming or not? Empty. Don't freaking. Molly, do you have to go on without me like that? Been a long 
time since I had to use one this small. <laughs> can, we, can we use it? Bone dry. Nope, nothing works at all these days. Exit the playground. This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Hasn't been much time yet. I better let Bree and Kenny do their thing. Good points. I'm just clicking on things. I didn't really expect that to work. Locked. I didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. That's that's useful. That's just some shell casings on the floor. Yeah, that's where they are. Over there. Okay. Let's pick them up. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here? Can we pick them up? Is there any need to pick them up? I've already been fired. They're worthless. Yeah, all right. Okay. Fair enough. Another sign. It's the same one as before. That's also the same photo as before. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Once again, Dick. Can't open it without the combination. Damn it. Just a oddly bloody locker. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Would be nice to know. Vending machine, does it work? It's empty. Those Crawford people probably Ginger Cola. Taking the piss. <laughs> nah. Right, what? Oh, there's Vernon. Big Vern. <laughs> and, and, uh, Krista. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. I'll go get back to Molly. Assuming she's still over here somewhere. I'm gonna assume the zombies are in those doors, Mark, with the red X's. God, I don't like this camera. Creepy camera. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Good, good, good question. Where is she? Molly. You out here? There's just a random zombie just walking along the street, just minding his own business. Guess just, I'm not going that way. just chilling. Right, where could everything? Oh, can't go that way. What's that say? Authorized motor pool workers only. That's us uh, Deliveries made in rear. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, oh, that must be down this way. That 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 is completely immature. Looters! Oh Jesus! Foreigner asks, "I did see that shadow." Damn! I did see that shadow just go by there. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Okay. What's in here then? Oh, hull. Climb it, I suppose. Yay! Uh, garage door. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Open garage door. Damn, it's jammed tight. Trust it to be unopenable. Where the f is Molly? <laughs> Better not get too close. Load of walkers. What the f Um He's mine. Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? Uh, 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 
What in God's name has got what? Molly? What? The, what the? F Molly. What? I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. She must know him. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. <coughs> Damn it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Just a just casual tool, right for the job. Oh, shit. That fence could come down so easily. Can we hurry up and work on the door? You know. Hurry. Please. Come on. Yeah, hurry, 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 hurry. We're in, we're in. What, there is alive? He's gonna come in, I would suggest moving the tool. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. C can we not move the tool? Just, just in case, you know? Something you need? So Crawford. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. <laughs> Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Fair enough. About the walker in the alley. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? <laughs> no, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making It's, it's interesting because he's actually not dead. You want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. <laughs> why did you decide to help us? So why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Yeah. Right, let's look. Losers will be shot on sight, yet again. Okay. Lift panel. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Okay. Hydraulic hose. Like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Can we use this? No power. Damn it! Warning sign. One of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. <laughs> the strictest place ever. The strictest paradise ever. Open truck hood. Can we get it open? We can. Must be a battery in here. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Yep. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. Yep. Right, so where are we going to get battery from? Um, can we just look at anything else here? Office door. It's locked. No way in. Fuck. Right, so... Oh, hang on. We can pry the hydraulic hose. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Can I borrow your pick? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. <laughs> Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. <laughs> right, let's pry it. Puncture. I'll oh, puncture it, okay. 
Right. Let's go and give that. I did it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's probably God. Not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. Yeah. Here's the battery. Uh, Finally, something goes right. Thank God for that. Uh oh, unscrew. Unscrew. Pick up. Still attached to the terminals. Oh, fuck. Detach. It's off. Detach. Got that one off. Pick up. We got it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. That's heavy, isn't it? Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Have to climb. God damn it. Whoa. This is this is dangerous. Skylight. Oh. It's shut. Shoot it out. Grab. Ah. Finally, someone grabbing my hand actually works. Unlike Kenny, who drops me every time. <laughs> you ever stop complaining? Come on. Shut up. Oh lord. Jesus. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. I don't know. I don't know, man. Whoa! Oh god. Oh. Thank God Molly's reliable. <laughs> Imagine if that was Kenny. We'd, we'd both be dead. Well, we're back in. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? What? Catch you later. The hell? Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Molly, you bitch. Damn it, what the hell is she doing? I don't even know what to think of her. She's doing things right and she's doing things wrong. What the hell? Anything? Well, what else is there to do now then? Maybe we can just go back to the classroom. Oh my God! Little help, little help here! Oh shit! Uh. Oh God! The doors won't close all the way. Please do something! Oh! Shut! Hatchet. Does this even work? Oh god. Quick time. Quick time. There we go. Damn well better. Yep. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Well, we've got the fuel, and we've sort of got the battery. What about the medicine? You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. <laughs> Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Mmm. Right. Talk to Bree. Bree? Hey Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor. So you're a cancer survivor. Like Vernon and the others. Yeah. I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out. Damn. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. 
But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Hmm. How about Crawford? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, to sound like a bit of pretty dead. demonic place. I have no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skin. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> it's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Yeah, the medicine sounds like a good idea. But first, let's talk to Clementine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. Mm hmm All right. Haven't heard from that guy on the radio in a while. I just re re remembered that. Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? She's getting pretty suspicious. She was pretty determined to take the battery and then she runs off after letting me jump down. <sighs> I don't know. Really does don't know. I suppose I'll go and um, check the medicine situation. I really hope that door's gonna hold. Sounds like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. It looks like there's a shit ton of walkers out there as well. Good idea. I don't know why I even decide to even try that. Shit. Oh god! Shit. You aren't actually planning to... Shoot them all. That is one big clip. Because I missed twice there, I think. What the? F oh! What the hell happened? <laughs> they wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh God! Combination. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we bust it open? There's no way we can bust it open. Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Probably a good idea. Right, let's see what what is there in here. Phone. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Medical Looks file? Like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Tape of some sort. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. It's not a very uh, long name, is it? Papers. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. That's unfortunate. Copier. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. True. 
bed. Let's go to sleep. It'll take time to rest later, I think. Can we not use that thing on the floor? What even is that thing on the floor? Don't even know what that is. So. Right, what's over here? Anything interesting? Camcorder. Oh. Does that tape work with the camcorder, I wonder? What's this on the floor? Is that a photograph a of a baby? <laughs> blood. Lots, lots of it as well. Dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Something bad. Yeah, it's not shoot the safe. I don't think it's gonna work. Anything in here? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. That's unfortunate. First aid kit. Uh, already cleaned out. Let's talk to Krista and Vernon. Hey, Krista. Yeah. Making progress. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon. It's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Are them two, All like, actually right married or boyfriend and girlfriend, I wonder? Exactly <laughs> then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. <laughs> We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. God. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? Just checking. It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You been throwing up? Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay, you do your thing. Let's talk to Vernon. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. About Molly. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More than mercenary. Same here, to be honest. Bit concerned. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Thank you for coming with us. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. True. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Use that camcorder, because I suspect that's the. I suspect that's what we have to do. No tape inside. Okay. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. If it got someone punching it in. Maybe. Tape one. There's more than one tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Correa, hmm. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Oberson's a dick. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Oh. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. 